Hey, what's going on solar family? And in this video, I want to go over the two most common commission structures out there, which is going to be a red line or a rev share type of commission structure. And if you don't know what a red line is, make sure you go watch my other video as far as what a red line is, uh, because that's going to be really important, especially if you want to get into solar. But before I dive into it, my name is James Ramos. I'm the founder of Solar University. I've been in the energy industry for over 10 years and in solar for the last eight. And I help thousands of people transition from another industry into solar. So if you want to learn the fastest way to transition into solar, whether you want to learn how to do it all virtually or you're a home improvement contractor that wants to add solar in your book of business, make sure you book your free solar strategy call. It's going to be a pop up right above this video. So we can dive right into it. All right, so I want to go over the two most common commission structures that you're going to find in the solar industry. And normally it's either going to be a red line or a commission rev share split. But once you understand the red line model, this is going to be a little more explanatory. Uh, so let me go ahead and dive right into it. So ideally, you should be put on a red line and you're going to be basically calculating your commission based on a price per watt. Right. So as far as the red line, I'm going to give you a definition of it, like a bird's eye view. This is basically your wholesale price. Right. So meaning that if your red line is at two dollars a watt, that is your wholesale price. Meaning that if you sell your system at two dollars a watt, you make no money and everything above and beyond the two dollars per watt is your profit margin. OK, hopefully that's making sense. So ideally a red line model, you would pad on the price per watt that you want to make. For example, if you want to make a dollar a watt, right? The total price per watt now before dealer fees and adders is going to be $3 a watt, right? But enable for you to calculate your commission, the only number, right? The only number, you need to look at is this number right here, which is the margins that you added to this, uh, this red line. Okay. So for example, if you sold a 10 kilowatt system, that just means 10,000 Watts, 10,000 Watts times a dollar a Watt. That means that this commission is $10,000, right? And keep in mind, this is only for demonstrational purposes only. I'm not trying to tell you that you're going to be making this kind of commission or you're getting that type of red line or you're going to mark it up at a dollar a watt. This is only for demonstrational purposes only so you can understand what a red line business model is. OK, so a red line business model means that you're going to mark up, right? Mark up your margins on top of the red line. And whatever you make on a red line business model, it's a hundred percent yours. Oops. hundred percent, right? It's a hundred percent yours. Okay. So now I want to go over a rev share. Okay. So now you understand what a red line business model is. You mark it up a dollar a watt, 10,000 Watts times a dollar is $10,000 basically potential commission. Okay. So a rev share is basically using this business model, but there's a split meaning that I'm just going to take this number right here, right? Meaning that if this was a $10,000 commission, if this is a rev share program and it's a 70, 30 split, that means that you would make 70% of this commission, which is $7,000. And the remaining 30%, which is the $3,000 would go to your company. Okay. Does this make sense? Everybody, this is yours and this is your company. And you're probably asking yourself, well, why would I do a rev share program, right? Versus a straight red line. Why would I do that? The benefits of a commission split, right? If it's a rev share split, Ideally, first and foremost, 
that this red line number should be fairly low, okay? So that is one benefit because obviously, if the red line is lower, there is a bigger commission split for you and your company. And secondly, along with a split, there should be some amazing training, amazing you know support, right? That goes along with a split. So ideally, those are the additional benefits why you should go with this type of 70-30 split business model, model versus the straight red line business model, okay? Hopefully that's starting to make sense, right? Because I know when you're starting out, it can be super confusing because I speak to hundreds of people during our solar strategy call and one thing that they don't understand is how they're getting paid, right? Whether it's a red line business model, whether it's a rev share, so what you really need to understand when you're going through interviews is like the questions you ask your you know, sales manager or the person interviewing is, how much am I getting paid? Am I on a red line? Am I on, on a, a rev share program? You really need to understand that because you don't want to just go out there and knock doors or close deals and you don't quite understand how you're getting paid because ideally it's going to fall in either a red line or a rev share type of commission structure. So if you want to dive in deeper and you want to get in the solar industry, you want the fastest way to get in solar, or maybe you're a home improvement contractor that wants to add solar and you book a business, we can help you get started the fastest way possible. Make sure you book that call and we'll jump on the line and we'll show you exactly how to do so. Other than that, have an amazing day. Goodbye for now. Peace.